Welcome back to the lecture series on version control management and collaborative systems. Last In the last lecture, we have been discussing about uh, and showcasing how to create repositories using GitHub. Today, I will be discussing about uh, how to create branches or the concept of branching in Git and issues. So before diving into the practical part of this lecture, I would like to explain what each of these concepts are. So when we say branching or GitHub branch, it's a, basically a technique or a feature in Git that allows you to work on different versions of uh, your code simultaneously. It's like having multiple timelines for your project where you can experiment with new ideas without affecting the main branch. This is a very important component of uh, version control systems. So branching is a very powerful feature and it can help you manage your code more effectively. When we come to issues, which is the second subtopic of this uh, lecture, GitHub issues uh, are built in, uh, you know, issue tracking system that allows you to manage and track bugs, feature requests, and other task related tasks related to your uh, GitHub repositories. So it's basically a way to provide a central location for discussing and resolving issues. And it also helps to keep you, uh, your project organized and be on track. So we will go back to the uh, interface of GitHub and uh, start discussing about what uh, branching is, how to branch or how to create branch, how to manipulate branch, and also how to raise issues in a given repository. So in order to create branch, we have to go back to uh, the uh, repository that we had the created, uh, which is uh, the software engineering repository. Okay. So in the software engineering repository, we have already, uh, in the previous lecture, we have already discussed where the place where for branch uh, is. So in the left uh, top part of this interface, you get a main uh, button, a drop down menu actually. So if you click there, you will see uh, the number of branches or the type of branch, the name of branches that are currently available in this repository. So if you are any user, for instance, here, this is my account, I created this repository, so main belongs to me directly. But assume you are trying to access or you are accessing my repository remotely from other place, from other account. Then if you want to work on this main repository or if you want to work on this uh, repository in Total Software Engineering one repository, you may have to create a separate branch for yourself. So there are different conventions that you have to follow in order to create uh, names. The first one is you have to explicitly mention the reason behind creating this branch or the purpose of the branch should be uh, clearly stated and also in addition to this one uh, the name of uh, the owner of this branch should be stated so that the other users viewing this branch knows who owns it and uh, for what purpose it is created so in my case for instance let's say uh, it's renamed as nat nile and if i want to do or code uh, part of my project related to the authentication system, I might say natnail login. Okay, here you see a create branch natnail login from main. So basically, I'm going to create a branch natnail login from the main snapshot of the repository, which is uh, uh, referred to as main, or in some other uh, parts, we can call it uh, master. So when I click on it, it basically creates a new branch. So if you click on this branch, for instance, you, you see now two different branches. The first one is the default branch, which is main. The second one is the one you created. Okay. So this is basically how you can create uh, and move uh, across branches that you have created. So the concept behind branch is that one programmer might modify some files. It might, uh, or she might add some contents here, for instance. Um, I might say, for instance, in this case, uh, software engineering one from uh, main branch. Okay, I might commit this change without any message for now. And uh, 
for the other one for instance here then the name of or the title of this readme is software engine one for main branch but if you check out to the second branch you will not see this one okay because branches are basically separate timelines for your uh, repository so that programmers can modify uh, the repository in different timelines independently so here we have a different title there we have a different title okay so synchronizing between these branches is another task but for now it's uh, enough for you to know how you can create branches basically so let me get back to the main branch and see the content of the the, the readme file that, that that's the only file that we have be, we have created so far okay this is basically how we can create branches on uh, a github um, web interface and how we can check out from uh, branch to branch so the second topic i want to cover in today's uh, lecture is issues so as i have as i have already uh, discussed issues in uh, this context are uh, a way to track issues raised against your repository so this is a very good way to pinpoint problems with your code base or it's a very good way to have to, to be communicated by other developers about the uh, the bugs or uh, faults in your uh, system or in your code base so the first step towards uh, uh, discussing you know uh, issues is that creating a new issue so assume you are accessing a software engineering one uh, software or code base and when you try to compile it or when you try to run it you might face some problem so the first thing to do as a software engineer uh, would be to, net to notify the owner of this uh, repository about uh, the potential uh, error or the bugs of the system so for that you have to raise an issue and raising issue is like creating uh, or uh, adding a new issue so i have to click here new issue button so the new issue interface provides you with uh, text boxes to enter the subject or title of the issue and descriptions of the issue here you can write first issue uh, for instance bug inside module one could be the name of this one or the subject of this one in the description part you may say hello you know something like uh, hello i have found some issue with your code at line xyz something like that one. you can also format your uh, uh, issues by adding some sub issues like this one for instance if i do this i might add i may add some checkboxes for the programmer or, or the owner of this repository uh, to check while addressing them for instance here uh, sub issue one could be mentioned sub issue two and the, the, for the last one sub issue three so here what i'm saying is that this issue uh, should be addressed by sequentially addressing these three sub issues so if you if you preview this one it renders like this so it says hello i have found some issue with your code at line xyz and for the developer you'll give him uh, some milestones in the form of uh, uh, check checkboxes okay so once you create uh, your uh, issue then the next step would be to assign uh, the responsible person for that person for that one since i haven't added any other user except myself this will not allow me to add any other collaborators but it will allow me to add myself as the owner of or the the responsible person to address this issue so i will click on this one if you had uh, you know uh, other users in this repository if you had added other users in this repository uh, you you could have gotten uh, some more users here collaborators here so you can selectively uh, you know assign one programmer to this issue levels you can label the issues with uh, different tags uh, also you can uh, add some more metadata including the milestones for this issue okay once you are done with this uh, you know you can add uh, emojis some expressive texts some images even by using the uh, uh, GitHub markup markdown uh, uh, or styling techniques, then you have to submit this new issue to the owner of the repository. 
Voila. So we have submitted our issue to the uh, owner of this repository. So assuming we are the owner of the repository at this moment, so you will be able to see the issues created by different programmers in your uh, workspace. Okay. So when you click on the issue, you see uh, this the first issue that we have created and the user is notified as if there are three tasks to be addressed in order to resolve this issue. So as a software engineer, you are not only responsible to raise issues, but also show for the owner of the program, the, the repository, the possible sequential steps or tasks to address the raised issue. So to clarify more on the issues, let's create one more issue, for instance. So let me say this is uh, a second issue, okay? And let me add some more description. This is a second issue, okay? And let me use some uh, markdown uh, styling techniques. For instance, if you want to relate this second issue with the first issue, you might write, you know, some statements like this. This issue is caused mainly due to failure of addressing the first issue, which is, you can use this hash and the number of the first issue, which is one. I'll show you how to get the number of this issue uh, in a few seconds, okay? So let me now assign myself to this issue and uh, submit uh, the new issue. So as you can see here in the URL section of this uh, interface, it shows uh, the last part of this URL shows a number and that number belongs to the number of the issue. So the same is true for the first issue. For instance, if you get back to the first issue here, you'll see uh, another number which, is, which belongs to the number uh, for the current issue. So this way you can uh, correlate issues or you can also refer or you can also provide uh, cross links uh, between issues and uh, pull requests. So as you can see here, if you click on uh, this one, it will uh, redirect you to the first, uh, the second issue. And if you click on this link that we have created a couple of uh, seconds ago, it will redirect you to the first issue.